Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going fishing tomorrow, Tom, and we want to talk a bit about ground bait. And uh, Tom, tell us what yep, you got I'm here. I'm just going to show you our mix, basically. So we've started off. I've just boiled up two kilos of hemp. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. So why do you boil it, Tom? Huh? Boil it to soften it. Um, it stops it floating, and it makes it um, softer, easier to digest with the fish. Okay, so how how long do you boil it for? Um, I boil this for about probably about an hour and a half. Oh, okay, about an hour and a half just to give it a good chance for the you see the little. Um, see, I told you, girls and guys, he is the serious fisherman of the two of us. So I can go in there for about eight hours. <laughs> I'll be leaving at four. He said he's going for the lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, of course, right, tomorrow's yeah, so Mother's that. Day. Uh, well, yeah. you when we're going, by the way, 2023. So, what are you going to add to this now, mate? Right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and show him the mix a little bit. Can't really see it. Well, the trouble is, it's a dark bait, isn't it? Yeah, so, it. I'll give him another little, little poke right up to the camera. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. Right, that's a old trusty. Right, so there we go, you can see now that's starting to turn into a uh, proper bit of manga. So what next have we got to add to it? Right, so next I'm going to add, well, we're in March aren't we, so I've got um, low oil pellets. Is that how many scoop pools is that doing? So, so how do you think that's going to sort of affect the fishing tomorrow? Do you think that that's, that's probably one of the best out there on there? Or, you know, how do you think, you know, is well, that one of your it's preferred ones? Good. Just a good honest mix, really, mate. There's every 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 carp loves hemp, sweet corn, and a bit of pellet, and um, yeah. And then we'll have some additives in it. Uh, we put some of them on it tomorrow. Yeah, we won't Brush. tell you what we're using today because we're probably yeah. likely to change between yeah, today and tomorrow. It. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, just move. So that that sort of that we've using, got there. So you've got two kilos of uh, hemp, yep. a kilo of corn, a kilo, of corn. A kilo and a half of of pellet, yep. you know, so a good 3-4 kilos of, uh, of, of bait there. Yep. Uh, and, uh, if we no, don't use it, we can save it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you would expect to get through that in a 48 hour session or? If, 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 if the conditions was right, mate, yeah. If it was, well, I've, I think it was 10 kilos in 24 hours. <laughs> Did you catch any fish? Was there, yeah. Is that, and and that keeps them, doesn't it? Yeah. So what about sort of ground bait then? And, and it, did you use that in addition to this, or you use this or that? Ground bait I usually use for my match fishing really. Right, I've been sort of pleasure angling. Um, you, you can use ground bait for carp if it works. Um, but as I say, I just like this. I'm trying to get a bit of a, a bed going, you know, a nice bit of feed going. So I think tomorrow, Tom, I'm going to propose that the two of us do a bit of an experiment. So yep. you guys don't know, but we've got a bit of a competition. We're going to get our own trophy. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're yeah. going to keep hold of the trophy, and we're going to then we get to you know brag us right. I'm going to let you use this mix tomorrow, and I'm going saying? to. Well, no, well, I don't with trust that? it. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I'm going to mix yeah. ground bait. Okay. Yeah. yeah? I'm yeah. going to, I'm, and I'm not going to add all these additives into it and all the rest of it. Right. So I'm going pure crushed hemp and breadcrumb. That's yeah. it. I'm not going to add anything else to it. Um, you see, guys, Tom is the fisherman. I just play at it. But I'm, I'm going to go and try a bit of that because I like old school baits. And, yeah. and this to me, lovely. Actually, lovely because Tom is a serious carper, right? So, and he's teaching me. So, I want to try something tomorrow. Tom's going to use this. Yep. We'll talk to you about what boilies we're going to be using on the bank. I'm going to use a crumb and, and just a, a simple crumb hemp mix, okay. ground bait. And, uh, Let's see what happens. Yeah, oh, see what Tom happens. five, me nothing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Anyway, guys, we we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the bank. That's it. Yeah, see you on the bank. Hi guys, welcome back Nutters, we're at the bank and sadly you're not here, well, actually it's not sad is it because we get the whole fishery That's to it. ourselves. Yeah we've got it to ourselves tonight haven't we, decent sized lake as well, there's plenty of fish in front of us, we've seen them already. Yeah yeah, a couple of mirrors and a couple of comments yep. I've been wandering around. And, so, uh, so tell me Tom, where are we? Uh, we're in, uh, well we're at a lake called Silica Lodge Fisheries, uh, that's in Scunthorpe. Um, 
But yeah, it's sort of a, a park like this one, isn't it? It's, um, we're right in the middle of the houses, I don't know if you can see them, but sort of all the way, three quarters of the way around those houses. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a parky lake. Lots of dog walkers in there. <laughs> yeah, we've come onto the island, didn't we? Really, yeah. just stay away from them. Yeah, we're, we're, well, we're, we're situated in the middle so that we've got, you can see this, so it goes around like a sort of horseshoe. Um, so we, we've set up here so that we can see all of the lake um, and well, we can fish most of the lake from this from this point, can't we? Well, we decided to come fishing on Mother's Day, which was not the best idea because we couldn't get the yeah. early start for you, and I've got an early finish because of all of what I've got to do. That's it. Yeah. You're here for two days, aren't yeah, you? I'm here for two days, so I've not even got a rod out yet. All I've done is put a um, put a marker rod out, um, just just felt about for some spots. Um, I've found a nice clear spot. I'm going to put two rods on tonight. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I've knackered already, I've been up since half five, I've been done Mother's Day already. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on the lake for two days, isn't it? That's it, now we're on the lake for two days, yeah. yeah. And then like any good mother wants her son to be happy, so he said, I am, I'm going fishing. That's it. And so, I mean, we'll come back to what we're going to do in a minute with the tactics, guys, but uh, it's quite a beautiful lake. We've already done the drone footage, which you hopefully have seen. And yep. uh, yeah, don't forget, keep your eye and uh, let's get some tight lines. That's it, tight lines. Yeah, so as I mentioned, we're going to be using solid bags today. Um, these are the quarter solids. There we are, size small. Um, and I'll just show you how I set a bag up. I'm sure you've seen these before, but um, if you haven't, you're about to get a lesson in them. <laughs> right, okay, so my bag, got my mix here. Stick mix, it's just literally a mixture of pellet, um, chopped boilies, a bit of hemp. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just nice, small stuff. It keeps all the air out of the bags. Um, and it's quite, it's quite damp, you can see. It's, it's not mega sticky, but it just holds together a little bit. Okay, so, take my bag. What I'll do, just put a little tiny bit in. Just work that down. Like that, just a small piece, nice and tight. And then from there, I should drop my bait in. There we are. And I'll um, just work that nice and neatly to the corner. Oops, try not to drop it. Yeah, just work that to one corner. Make sure you don't nick the bag. Right, and then once that's done, I'm going to go for another bit of bait. Get it everywhere but I'll tidy that up later. There we are. Right and then you should lose your lead. You just bash that down with the lead covering all your bait up making it nice and tight. Um, I'll just get this tight and then we'll um, I'll show you the next stage. Yeah go on mate they're all right. Right, okay, so that's that patted down. And then all I'm gonna do now is just position the lead in the centre. I'm just gonna fill in around the gaps. So just move it about a bit, pat it down nice and tight, and get all that air out of it. The tighter the better, it casts a lot better. As I say, size small, these ones. I rarely have to go any bigger than that. And we're just twisting that. Just to the top. I'll wet my hands a little bit. Or wet my fingers even. We're just twisting that round nice and tight. it down all the time, making it tighter, getting all that air out. 
take your tape, wrap that around a couple of times. A bit more awkward when you're trying to get it so the camera can see. <laughs> yeah, it's got all of you, mate. <laughs> a couple of, couple of standard um, granny knots in there. I nearly tied a shoelace. I don't know if you see that. We'll pretend we didn't. <laughs> there we are. A couple of good old trusty granny knots. Nice and tight. And then all we're doing now is just trimming the excess. Just the excess of the bag. Try not to cut your line. I've done it loads of times. Wet your fingers again. Just tidy it up with that. Push it all down, make sure it's nice and tight. You can see it's tight already, but next bit, we're gonna push the corners in, like that. See, so you've got a little bit of a gap there. And then same the other side. And we're just holding it like that. That's it, just make sure it's held properly. Yep, let's shape it up a bit so it can fly better. And then so what I he's take, doing now, girls and sorry. guys, is he's putting on wings. Yeah, that's it, mate. And I'll just take my trolley tool, and I'll just poke a few holes in it. Any sort of um, air remaining in there. Can escape. Oh, push it down. There you have a solid bag ready for casting. The next bit is Tom, are you actually going to cast it or are you going to bait boat it? I'm going to cast it mate, ah. but not just old yet. Old school. <laughs> old school, yeah. Alright, so this is rod one just about to go out. You can see it there, solid bag. Okay, so that's rod number one going out. Solid bag, nice little mix in there. We've got trim down yellow after. And there we are. We're just literally, I've spent a couple of hours trying to find a spot. Um, you'll see in a minute, we're not very far out at all. Um, this one's clipped up. I'm just gonna, hang on a sec. All right, let's get that sorted. All right, I'm just gonna fire this one out. So only an underarm. See, we are literally cut the rod lengths out. There we are. Well, that's rod number one. Take it off the clip. Don't need that anymore. That's that one set. Bobbing on. Right alarm on. Week, see if it's working. There we are, we're on the money. Right, let's grab uh, rod number two. Oh, yep. Yeah. Same sort of setup, this one. Solid bag again. And this one has got a uh, white um, sticky bakes mulberry on this one and see how we go. So we've got a, a yellow wafter in and fishing. Um, just about to put this one out. As I say, it's a white sticky bakes mulberry or mulbs. Two on the same spot this time. As I say, there's not much in the way of uh, clear patches out there. I know we're fishing solid bags, but um, I do like a, a nice clean area if I can. Okay, and that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still clipped up. And what it is, I've um, clipped up my line earlier, like an absolute noob. And then I've, I've taken a couple of rod lengths of line off just so we had a fresh bit on the uh, the sort of business end. And um, yeah, I've left the clip on. Um, and obviously it's a hell of a lot short because I've took a couple of rod lengths off. But there you are, that's a good one for the bloopers. Um, I'm sure Andy will have a laugh about that later.
nearly thought I had a fish thing, guys. But I think it's the ducks just knocked the bait. Which is really, really annoying. Anyway, guys, uh, welcome back, nutters, to the fishing channel. Um, so I just wanted to sort of go over what I got. I'm being a bit plagued by ducks at the moment and uh, swan. Um, so essentially on the one rod I've got a tutti fruity boilie out um, with a bit of crushed boilie, some crushed hemp and then bait you saw us mix yesterday. On the other one I've got the uh, one I caught the golden uh, or the mirror ghost mirror carp on the other day which was the uh, bread boilie, the 10 mil. So I've got 15 mil on one, 10 mil on the other and I'll just give you a quick show as to whereabouts they are. Okay guys so yeah as you can see beautiful little fishery. Um, I'm actually fishing uh, the bread just up about where the swans just crossed and if you follow my finger around there that roughly is about where the tutti frutti is. Um, they did just knock my bait those two ducks that are over there um, but uh, you know no massive harm done it's because they're going after the sweet corn and that in the hemp and he's gone back under again. Anyway guys um, I'll let you know how we get on and uh, yeah we'll cut over to Tom see what he's got going on. Okay guys we just ran off Tom's on I was just about to leave for the day. Look, he's got his little boat down here. Oh. Oh, dear. oh, dear. oh off he runs. Ah. Oh. That is that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're feeding. Got the spot going. Never mind, mate. Yep. Oh dear. Get the old blood pumping. I won't drop my rod in this time. <laughs> what bait does that you use? It's a trimmed down, um, a trimmed down wafter, dumbbell wafter. Ah. I think it was a tench anyway, that one. Bastard, don't well, it? When it gets off. To see it. Never mind, mate. No. Oh, gutting. So we've we've got a new but we've got a new boat. So I think that uh, oh, I can't get the uh, the gimbal or the camera. So you might have to show them your one, mate. We've called uh, your one, it's called the Error 404 Fish Not Found. <laughs> oh dear. Next, next time, that's why it's called Fishing and Not Catching. Yeah. <laughs> it's only Tom's art. 